<coughs> Don Kumite. Oh, I, this, this, is, this is such a beautiful drill, and yet it's been so... You know, people, people are just having such a hard time with it. And what happens is that, they, you know, they, they get through it, but it's not something that, you know, that really is teaching you very much. Right. And so today what I'm going to try and do is take just one or two movements of Don Kumite and try to show you, what, you know, how it should be performed. Now, there are two types of drills in China. Uh, one is very much like Q Kumite, where it's one, two, start over, one, two, start over, hit all this, uh, sets. Don Kumite is kind of a flow of movements. Punch, drop kick, punch, drop kick, or whatever. But it, it's like a, a number of movements that are blended in together. So if I'm throwing a punch at you, now, now again, we're going to do this soft. One, two, three, four. All right, now if you notice what happened, I had too much time after I threw my punch. I would not want to just stay here. No, I would be here next movement. So his role is as soon as he feels my arm, because I know my, my punch is dead at this point, and that kick should be following. There you go. And you've got to move with me. Always move with me. Now all of a sudden this thing takes on a different meaning. Now it's starting like the pushing drill, like your constant, the flow. All right, so if we just work on this one drill, one, two, three, four, all right? I'm an old man, so I don't move like I used to move, but you still move nice and slow. Pretty one, good. Too much. Three, four. But it, it's like playing. It, and the play hurts sometimes, you know, I and mean, you nail it with, with, a, with a good technique. It, it, it works. Yeah. One, three, four. It takes too long for your kick to get, get up because I, I, I would be doing something else. Your job, as soon as I make contact, there, 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 there you go. All right, wouldn't that make sense? This movement's dead. <laughs> dead. Okay. All the time worrying about your distance, controlling your distance, timing. Nice and soft, 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 soft. Play with this. Have fun with it. Damn it. <laughs> Watch your distance. You're going to keep it close. Keep it close. Just number one. This is an example of doing something a thousand times until you have it down. Then change roles to a thousand times with the partner. That's exactly right. You've got to soften it up. Because it's happening against the point. Two, three. <laughs> now this is tough trying to keep your distance. It's not just throwing your arms real fast. You have to maintain your distance. You have to maintain your control. You have to adjust that every move so that you can make contact. And try to make some contact, but soft contact.
I'm just taking you to do that. All right, now, you've got a feel you can move. Same thing. You notice how I'm pushing you because you're not moving with me. Okay. Okay, you've got to have fun with it. <laughs> have fun with it. It's, you know, this is not, you know, not killer uh, match here. So, loosen your hands. One, two, three, four. There you go. But see, you pull really fast. If we're doing it slow, you've got to match the speed. Otherwise, I can't speed up. Alright, go back. Try them a few more times. Alright. Play with it. Adjust your stance. Adjust your movement as you're throwing the punch. See if you can use a reverse punch. Slide in instead of stepping. One of the best combinations to use as an attacker and as a defender. Okay, change partners one last time. Some of you are speeding up, some of you are throwing punches a little bit harder than they should be. Soften up. Soft hands. Play with it. Have fun. Okay, with your partner, number two. Now see if you learned anything from number one. Start off very slow. Experiment with it. And then slowly start doing what you're doing with number one. See if, see if any of that came through. Bang, bang. And kick. This is a, a, a test of your ability to adjust your stance and be able to maintain a strong position while you're defending yourself. So this is a really great drill if it's done correctly. You're starting to feel it. I can tell. Try it. Keep working. Two more times. Get those punch, two punches like a machine gun, even though they're soft. Bang, bang. There you go. And be able to adjust and throw that kick. There you go, Bill. I'm sorry. I can't remember to get you to work with the no matter what. Okay, stop a second. Just relax. Now, how many of you have ever done Don Kumite where you had a feeling like what you have doing these two movements? Now? You start, you start to feel, you know, that the Don Kumite has a lot to offer. A lot to offer. And that's the way you should study Don Kumite. Not just go through it and you know, be able to block the technique that you know is coming at you. That's no big deal. It's how you perform when you're doing it. That's what's important. I want you to get another partner again to see if it works with somebody else. Okay, stop a second. Now think about the scenario. Someone's throwing two really powerful punches at you, and then you have controlled it. You take you one movement, second movement, and now you're back there to throw that kick. All right, and it forces the, the attacker to become the defender. I mean, that's the scenario. But if you wait too long trying to get in position and delivering the kick, it won't work. So there again, you've got to get here, get set, and get that kick off as fast as you can. Soft, though. Okay? Try it again. Okay. Don't go on too long there, Alan. Come on, you gotta get that kick off. There you go. That's the old Alan I remember in the 50s. <laughs> Okay, number three. That's right. If you play with number three, start off nice and slow, soft hands. Number three. Number three. 
See if, you, see if you can pull it together. Start off slow, just figure out how it's supposed to be done, and work on it. This is a two kick, not a spinning kick. Not, no spinning kick. Okay, stop the second. Now, do you see any uh, weaknesses in the way we've, you've been doing that drill? Uh, we, uh, most people don't, most of the dojos don't do a spinning kick any longer. But uh, originally it was designed because a lot of the Taekwondo people in tournaments use a lot of spinning techniques. And the worst thing you can do is to try to run, run away from them. All right? And I, I don't really do it that much, but I think if I throw a punch, all right, and block, turn, first thing you want to do is just get in and, and push. Don't, don't try to run away from it because the spinning hook kick, that's really difficult to anticipate, or even if you could block it, to block. What you want to do is get in tighter, get in close. One, two, and three. Of course, you can do more than just push. But you don't want to get anywhere in the in the, the area where that kick is, the, the heel is going. And then some of you can take that kick and pull that heel right in and, and just take care of your head off. So if you get in really close and push them off balance, then the kick loses its, uh, its power. Okay? I, I, I just wanted to see what you were doing. And if you do that spinning kick, make sure you move in. Using your Wawuki. Defend if you have to, but don't run away from it. Okay? And on the first movement, one, two, rather than this. You know, I was wondering how many of you would pick that up. Uh, I didn't see anyone. All right. <laughs> but if you've got weak arms or you're up, up someone, against someone throwing really powerful kicks, this works just as easy and as nice because it blows right into the next movement. Okay? Uh, let's see. Number five. Let's try number five. Or four. Four. Jump kick. That's a good kick. <laughs> Alright, you don't have to jump. You can just throw, throw, throw a kick. But the idea is you're defending against the kick and then the chuck.
Hope you're remembering all this stuff. Go get a test. <laughs> Start off slow, soft hands, play with it, try to figure out what, what Madison is talking about. How does it apply to number five? How can Sanchez play a role in all this? <laughs> Okay, change partners. so that even if I'm a little slow on the block, he still can't hit me unless he's got a real long knife. Right? So you, as soon as he blocks, then get out of the habit. This is white belt stuff, you know, where you're chambering everything. You should be able to move from wherever your hands happen to be. All right, so if I come here, this movement, and then when he throws that kick, I want to be right about here. So he can't reach me with his punch. He might be able to tweak my thumb a little bit, but he's not going to be able to hurt me very much. So get away from this kind of a block. See? This doesn't make any sense because I'm right on top of it. Try it. Nice and soft. Play with it. Try to get those kicks up a little bit up from the rip cage. Remember, you don't block a low kick with your arms. You use your leg. You lift the leg if someone's throwing you knee kicks. Do you Okay, now watch your distance and don't take time between movements. As soon as the movement's dead, the next movement should be happening. So this will take on the effect of speeding up the drill, but still soft hands. Distancing's the same. Everything's the same. Yeah. 
Notice the kick, by the way. Right. And notice the kick. One. And go punch. Some. Now this has effect of shaking her up a little bit. All I do is get her hand, my hand there, and she flinches backward. You just want to get her a little off balance, no matter where her leg is. You want to find that spot where if you push down, you know you can take, take the person down. Don't, don't go beyond that, okay? Try it again. Just showed you another uh, way to use something in your content. 